I'm Victoria McLean and welcome to, for today, a Lord of the Rings YouTube channel. <laughs> introduction today is actually about Lord of the Rings now uh, I was doing a live earlier this year quite early on and uh, one of my incredible followers sent me a message well, uh, wrote on my live saying how would I feel about doing a Lord of the Rings unboxing that she was looking at doing and I was like oh my god you don't have to ask me twice I love Lord of the Rings in fact when me and Adam got together that was one of the questions I had to answer yes or no to on our first date so if you'd like to see what's inside this long-awaited parcel box then keep on watching if you would like me to bring Hogwarts to you then why not subscribe to my channel let's get started or should I say bringing the Shire to you today so this is Hermione's wand I thought it was the closest to the kind of elvish look I don't have anything Lord of the Rings but I have asked for something Lord of the Rings for Christmas from Adam and I absolutely love it I loved it for a long time from Noble Collection and I really 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 hope he gets the hint I have hinted a lot um, but this is kind of like the closest I could find to anything wand related with Lord of the Rings because of the kind of the the ivy and the um not the ivy I'm not quite sure what is wrapped around her wand but with this kind of look it's quite elvish so this is the box it's a pretty hefty box to be honest this has come all the way from is it Australia where she's uh, where she does this now this is from a new Etsy company called a long expected parcel now this looks so lovely and I'm really kind of intrigued because I'm always doing Harry Potter and I absolutely love Lord of the Rings so let's get into this I love this this is about the Shire this box and you've got eagle mail because of course the eagles are really big in Lord of the Rings and they are literally big uh, Middle Earth Victoria and then their long expected parcel so let's have a look now I'm not gonna lie to you I have had a little peek and uh, I was blown away by what I saw so I stopped looking in the box now first of all we have what looks like a little eagle feather just there that's sitting on the top of the packaging so I'm gonna pop this down and get started so who doesn't love Lord of the Rings I mean there's bound to be people out there that don't but it came out around the same time as Harry Potter so when I started um, watching Harry Potter or reading Harry Potter Lord of the Rings came out in a film and I first saw it on VHS back in 2002 and since then I have absolutely loved it my favorite films are Two Towers then A Fellowship of the Ring and then Return of the King I have tried Hobbit I prefer the book of the Hobbit rather than the film so sorry to disappoint some of you out there so I have a card that says the Shire welcome and a little card with my name on there so first of all I'd like to say that I have had this box for free so thank you very much so Claire has sent me a lovely card thank you so much for accepting my Lord of the Rings box my pleasure and my Etsy link is on my Instagram so I will pop that down below um, and uh, I, this has been an absolute labor of love for Claire so these boxes seem to be from what I have seen already I'm blown away by the first box so this is of course the first look of these boxes now as far as I'm aware nobody has done a Lord of the Rings subscription box this has been funded purely by Claire so she has literally put her own heart and soul into these boxes and she really is hoping that she gets a fantastic response from this box and from what I've seen already I wouldn't be surprised if she does very well from it and you know me I'll be honest so this is obviously the Shire's first box Middle Earth Venture inspired by the unboxing videos of Harry Potter and general book boxes I've seen and received myself. Now this box is based mostly on the books from what I've gathered um, but obviously there are film elements in there as well. I have tried reading the books but I just, I, it's, it's hard. It is hard. However Game of Thrones I'm fine with even though they're on par apparently. And I have kind of tried to do my hair a bit like um, uh, Gladriel today. Uh, Gladriel and Adwin are my favorite characters as well as uh, Aragorn. 
So I have tried, and maybe there's a little Lego last in there as well. I'm not sure. I'm not quite sure. Um, I've used my own money to fund this box uh, in uh, a one. I'm a one-woman team with a full-time job. So congratulations, my darling, for actually achieving your dream and doing this box. Um, again, her Etsy store will be down below. I've enjoyed every minute of coming up with these ideas, although bringing those ideas to life and uh, sourcing products isn't an easy task. It is not an easy task. I know completely. I'm keeping my business small, she says. I originally wanted to uh, release a box every quarter, uh, but I'm not sure I'll be able to meet this deadline. So what she's hoping is that when she does this box, uh, and obviously this box is now available on her Etsy page, which again I will be putting down below for you, um, she is obviously expecting it to be small because she's a one-woman show at the moment. Let's hope her success grows. So obviously she says, yours, Hobbitly, Claire. I love it. The next box will be Frodo and Sam's in the journey begins so i can't wait to see that one so the first item and we've got lots of uh, cardboard spaghetti in here claire you've definitely been sourcing me on this one haven't you knowing full well how much i love it <laughs> right this is the first item i actually pulled out and the only item i pulled out of the box and i absolutely love it it is a cushion cover of a map of middle earth look at that I absolutely love that now Adam was like yeah but are you gonna put it on your sofa don't worry I'm putting it on my sofa oh my god I don't care it's all Harry Potter I'm putting it on my sofa even if I have to get a cushion to put it on this chair it's got I'm using it I love it this is beautiful so I've had a proper look it's incredibly incredibly detailed so well done so Claire this is a brilliant first item congratulations my love I love it absolutely love it I absolutely I just absolutely love Lord of the Rings if it wasn't for Harry Potter films continuing I may very well have changed and gone to Lord of the Rings how bad is that um, but I because I think Lord of the Rings stopped and I continued with Harry Potter I think Harry Potter took over and then obviously the fandom went crazy and you could get all these sort of incredible items that I've got behind me so let's have a look at the next item now I pulled this out but I didn't undo it but uh, we have a wrapped up parcel here. I think it's amazing that she's done this and she's actually achieved her dream by creating her first box. So let's have a look. Let's hope I know what these are because I haven't read the books. Oh wow, what's this? Okay. So far it's intriguing. It's, um, it's well wrapped, Claire. Well done. I'm trying to be incredibly careful. It's a it looks like a staff of some kind. No, it's not. Oh my God, that's brilliant. Oh wow, Claire, that's fantastic. <gasps> no. I'm being very careful to pull this out. Adam actually is really looking forward to seeing what's in this box because he's obviously a big fan. <gasps> Claire, oh my God. That is incredible. It's a pipe. Look at that! That is absolutely beautiful, Claire. Well done, my darling. Obviously, in Lord of the Rings, is it long bottom leaf they smoke? And uh, when Frodo, when Frodo, when uh, Bilbo and uh, Gandalf are sat there and they're talking about it's going to be a, a party, a night to remember, and they're smoking, and Gandalf does that that shit that comes out or is it Bo uh, sorry Bilbo does that circle and then Gandalf does that shit that comes out that is absolutely brilliant I love that that is not what I expect at all I've got lip gloss on so I'm not putting it in my mouth but Vidas weed in the South Valley oh my god that is absolutely beautiful what an incredible second item absolutely incredible well done so this is another item I pulled out. Okay, I'm so bad, right? I'm being honest with you now. I pulled it out and looked at it and I was like, oh, that looks really nice. Put it back in the box. Um, so because I because I couldn't undo I couldn't undo it and then do it back up again. So that's why I didn't open it. I know I'm so naughty. It's because I like I, I do love Lord of the Rings. I, I want to watch them now. I love the extended version, but my god, do they go on? Was it Sheldon Cooper says, oh, I love scrolls. It's my second, my second mode of transport, transportation or, or something, not transportation, tra transportation, he's going to use a scroll to ride across the America. Uh, he says it's his second way of uh, exchanging the written word or something on a scroll. So here we have a beautiful scroll. We have, a, and we've got like crystals on the end as well. So let's have a look. I don't know if I'm doing it. Oh, no, it's the other way around. Oh, hang on. 
Hang on, let's have a look. Look at that! There's a little handle there as well. Oh my God, look at that. Right, okay, dear Victoria, oh, that's so cute, it's so personal. You're invited to the long expected party. Oh, I am invited to Bilbo's 111th birthday isn't it? in his 111 years, he says. Um, uh, cele celebrate Bilbo's 111st birthday and Frodo's coming of age. Date 22nd of September 3001. Time all day. Wow, that's a party and after, isn't it? Uh, with the uh, Gandalf's fireworks as well. Oh my god. And then you've got Sam and uh, is it not Sam? You've got Mary, Mary and Pippin. Mary and Pippin who steal the fireworks and let them off inside the tent. <laughs> You're supposed to stick it in the ground. I love it, it's brilliant. Located fields uh, opposite Bag End uh, by water. Special invitation, dinner beneath the party tree. Limit to 144, that's probably the entire Shire, isn't it? Uh, free gift upon arrival, meals, music, merch. Merch, March, merch. Uh, Gandalf's fireworks. Uh, limited to one gift per hobbit. That is beautifully done, Claire. I'm not sure if you can actually, if I can get that to be seen properly, but that is stunning. And the thing is I love about Lord of the Rings is it is beautiful enough to hold up to something that's Harry Potter because they are so beautiful in comparison with each other. So right, so let me very carefully put that scroll to one side. And then we have a box. Um, just tea, thank you. Uh, it's very clever because I actually did, um, when I did my essay for my degree for last year, we actually talked about how they do the, the size of Gandalf and uh, Bilbo and they actually didn't film very much together. They were in separate places because they had an, a normal size for Bilbo, sorry to make it look normal. And then for Gandalf, they had it extra small to make him look like a giant. So it was very, very cleverly done because I studied all of this in my degree. You can actually visit Hobbiton as well. And there's actually a place in England uh, that you can go to that is a little Hobbit, a little Hobbit house. And you can stay there as well. <gasps> oh my God, look at that cut. <gasps> oh, wow. She's wrapped that bloody well. Look at it, it's bag end. Oh my God, Claire, that is absolutely beautiful. This first box is just stunning. And you've got Gandalf just there looking his horse and cart and Bag End there. He's obviously visiting his friend, his old friend, Bilbo Baggins. That is spectacular. Just amazing. I love that. Absolutely love that. I think Adam might actually pinch that from me. There's a fair amount in this box. Right, so we have another parcel. That can just come out. Is this a candle or something? Made by Nick Nicola, let's open, it's very well wrapped. Trying to be incredibly careful. This box has come all the way from Australia. Oh, what's this? Enjoy. Hobbiton, berry and vanilla tart. It looks like it's a candle. Look, I love the writing. I love the, the whole Welsh and uh, Irish aspect of Lord of the Rings. Oh my God. That is beautiful. I'm burning that now. <laughs> I'm burning that now. <laughs> Look at that. Oh my God, I'm so sorry, but that smells. Actually, if I sniff it now, I'll end up losing my hair, won't I? That smells absolutely absolutely gorgeous that is oh my god the smell i can smell it already that is so strong oh wow i am loving this box absolutely loving this box oh my god there's more the road goes ever on and on down from the door where it begins so we have that there let's have a look what's inside it there's a couple of these this box is full Thank you so much for this box. Oh, it's a pin badge. I love pin badges. I don't care. It's going on my pin shelf. Oh, it's Hobbit. It's um, Bilbo's. Is it Bilbo's door? 
Look at that! I think that's Bill, meant to be Bilbo's door, front door. That is so cool. Do you know, one of my favourite scenes, right, is when Gandalf goes, obviously Bilbo's gone, and he drops the ring, because he's obviously determined not to get rid of the, the ring, because the ring has a hold over you, and um, which is why he's so old. And he, obviously, he, he lets it kind of fall out of his hand. And you know that scene, right, when it falls out of his hand and he tilts it so much and it still won't leave. And it's almost like that and then it finally falls to the floor. Um, one of my favourite bits in the first film is when uh, got, uh, Gandalf goes into, uh, back into Bag End and goes to touch the ring and it almost screams at him. When you see the eye um, of Mordor and it just kind of, it, he kind of senses it in his head. And it's just such a cool scene. Oh my God, that's so beautiful. Oh my God, there's another one underneath as well. <laughs> this is just going on forever, it's great. A wizard is never late, Frodo Baggins, nor is he early. He arrives precisely when he means to. Do you know what? I actually do say that on a weekly basis. <laughs> Cause I hate being late, right? But whenever I'm late, I'm never late. A witch is never late, Victoria McLean. Nor is she early. She arrives precisely when she means to. Absolutely brilliant. So, so, so good. What's in here? I look so plain today. I don't want to go too mad, you know, because it's Lord of the Rings. It's, uh, Gladriel obviously doesn't wear loads of makeup and stuff. I so have that dress. I want her crown. I want everything I do. I love it. But I need to seriously downgrade some of my uh, some of my stuff first. <gasps> what is this? Oh wow! Oh my life! Okay. Oh my god! It is a Lord of the Rings pocket watch. That is just sensational. Well, it's not even a pocket watch. It looks like it's a necklace. I got something to wear now. <laughs> Yay! So, you know, Adam bought me, he bought me a cheap version of um, uh, Adwin's uh, uh, Everstar necklace. I don't know what the hell's happened to it. I've got the ring as well, but I don't know where they are. So I'm gonna have to go on a hunt, especially if I'm gonna be doing more of these. Oh, I'm gonna put it on now, I love it. Oh, this is so beautiful. I haven't even opened it, hang on. It's a lovely pocket, well, like a pocket watch necklace inside. Oh, I love it. Thank you so much. I really love that. Oh my God. This box is just so nice. Don't get me wrong, I, I, Harry Potter will always be, always be my number one. But it's lovely to have a Lord of the Rings box because I am a huge Lord of the Rings fan. Obviously, because, um, I mean, I, I've asked for, um, I don't think I've asked for any Harry Potter stuff for Christmas this year. I've asked for Lord of the Rings. So we have another parcel. I've got another one as well. And another one again. Um, you can drink your fancy ales. You can drink them by the, by the flagon. So is this when they are partying? Is it when they're sat at the table, him and Frodo? Because I haven't obviously read the books. So I'm not 100% sure. So let's open it. I love this. I really love that. Thank you so much. I feel so privileged. <laughs> oh, what? I got another one I want to wear now. <laughs> oh my God. This is so pretty. Hang on. And this can be, this can be changed size wise. It's a, well, I don't know what that says there, something dragon, I'll have to look at the wizard's checklist or the hobbit's checklist now today to uh, see what that is. So we have a bottle there, it looks like it's meant to be a bottle of beer, look at that. That is absolutely beautiful and she's got like a leather binding then around and you can change the length of it as well so it can fit anybody this one. That is absolutely beautiful. I won't put, well, no, I can put it on, can't I? Can I? No, I won't put it on, because I've got my extensions in, knowing me, I'll get caught. But that's beautiful. Right, okay, I've got another parcel. <laughs> I've got another parcel. <laughs> I love it, 
I absolutely love this. This is so good. The only brew for the brave and true. So we've got that written there in another parcel. I quite like the simplified the, the, this simplified look as well because these are easily recycled you know straight in the paper bin for these if you want to you might want to keep them you never know <gasps> what is this <gasps> it looks like a coaster do you know what i'm actually looking for a coaster to go on our new coffee table <laughs> there we are i can see it now because it's right there the green dragon look at that that is brilliant by water hobbiton and he's got his little tankard there which in obviously hobbit's eyes is actually something like a half pint for us maybe less and they think that's huge but there we have a little uh, bottle there of green dragon and then we've got the coaster i love it absolutely love it that's going on my table next door because at the moment we're look, currently looking for coasters to go on this table, I tell you. I'll put pictures up of this table right next door because it is pretty damn cool. So we have a couple more items. Hang on. Right, I'll put that down because that is another item. God, this box is full. Okay, I don't know half. I don't know half of you as well as you should like and I like less of less than half of you half as much as you deserve I love that saying don't we wish we could all say that to people Bilbo Baggins at his party basically saying you know I like some of you but the rest of you <laughs> it's so brilliant it is absolutely fantastic I love that so that's a bookmark that's really lovely maybe I can actually try and start reading the Lord of the Rings books and I can use that as my bookmark so we have another parcel. So, oh my God, I love it. We all, I think we all know what this is. Uh, people who obviously know how Lord of the Rings uh, know what this is. Um, keep it secret, keep it safe. Shall I open it? Is Am I gonna get like, you know, am I gonna go invisible? <laughs> this is such a good box. I'm so enjoying this. Hey on, hey on. I'm trying to do it without ripping it too much because it's like, <gasps> oh, oh my God. Now, just to let you know, right, my husband's wedding ring is a Lord of the Rings ring, okay, in titanium. Look at this. Seriously, Claire, you have outdone yourself with this box. This is magnificent absolutely magnificent and I shouldn't put it on because I would disappear but it fits <laughs> can you see me but it disappeared am I <laughs> should I go next door and like surprise Adam and go hello that is absolutely incredible that is stunning Claire I seriously am blown away by this box absolutely blown away by this box this is just amazing so we have, oh that's beautiful, we have, it looks like an art art drawing of Hobbiton there, look at that, it's beautiful, you can actually visit uh, this place here in New Zealand, is it New Zealand you can go to? But isn't that beautiful? So this is the Shire by Sarah Basso. Um, and it's obviously a beautiful postcard. I ain't sending that to anyone. If my mum was alive, I'd send it to her because she did like Lord of the Rings. Um, but that is just beautiful. We have come to the end of the box. <sighs> this has been a hell of a journey. Um, <laughs> I love this ring. I love the necklace. I love it all. I love the pipe. I love the cup. I love the bookmark. I just, I love the castle. I love everything. I love everything. The postcard, the cushion cover, the scroll. This box has been completely chock-a-block. This is how a first box should be. Um, just to let you know though, they are expensive. But as you probably have seen, these boxes, I think personally, are worth the cost. Now, I am as honest with you as I can be, but this this whole, I keep going like this, this whole experience, right, has been a hell of a journey. And the fact that she has created these 
she's been talking about this for months and months and it's been so lovely to finally see her her ideas come to life just outstanding so let's have a look at the hobbit checklist today so this is called the shire by long expected parcel follow me on instagram at a long expected parcel i will put the links down below for you so don't worry greetings excellent and admirable hobbits welcome to the first middle earth uh, theme ongoing mystery box this box is based on the Shire. I hope you enjoy opening all the surprises inside. List continues on the other side of this page, including 12 items in this box. 12 items! Because I couldn't fit 11 in. See what I did there? <laughs> well done birthday invitation join in the uh, birthday invitation join in the frivolity at bilbo's 111st birthday party handmade by claire at a l e p uh two the green dragon necklace carry or carry the only brew for the brave and true wherever you go to remind you of your favorite pub or just have it to sit pretty on the shelf uh, on the shelf handmade by claire at a l e p birthday speech bookmark love it um, our favorite with a uh, favorite witty quote from bilbo uh, made by alicia and quote at quotation mark bookmark bookmarks find her on etsy and instagram for bilbo's door enamel pin love it uh, the iconic green door where it all begins uh, began sorry designed by gabby at nerd tea creations find her on etsy redbubble and instagram hobbiton candle already burning it uh, enjoy the aroma from the shire kitchen with this berry vanilla tart candle what i didn't get uh, what i wouldn't give to enter the hobbit's kitchen i know in it made by nicole nicola Nicola Co. Oh my god, I can't even. I've got glasses on today. Find her on Etsy. Redbubble Artists. Six. Green Dragon Coaster. Steal a coaster from the local pub. As keepsake, it's what a good burglar would do. Yes. Dined by a shirt. Shirt wrap gandalf's arrival mug i love it uh, arrange for the cuppa for a cuppa with a very old friend to dine by a uh, sh sh sure ski sure skis i think that is eight shire postcard pin on your wall to remind you of where you'd rather be designed by sarah basso middle earth map cushion cover so beautiful so using that get comfy as you reminisce, uh, reminisce about your last adventure with the cushion cover number 10 a uh, jrr pocket jrrt pocket watch uh, the monogram of john ronald Ralph tolkien i you know me i know him as jrr tolkien adorns this classic timepiece so you can always arrive on time unlike wizards i like that uh, number 11 a long tobacco pipe it wouldn't feel like the shire without an iconic prop piece i don't endorse smoking of course but i couldn't leave it out very very true it's an ornament totally for me at uh, 12 the ring, the one ring, uh, one ring to rule them all, one ring to find them, one ring to bring them all and in the darkness find them. It cannot stay in the Shire. Join F uh, Frodo, Sam, Merry and Pippin for the next box. The journey begins. Well done. Oh my God, this has been an incredible journey for me. I've loved every second absolutely loved it well done claire you really have outdone yourself so please let me know in the comments below what did you think of this box i personally haven't had something like this for a long long time so for me personally i could not say a bad word about this box i am blown away i can't wait to show adam he was even going to sit here and watch me unbox it but he's still working so he can't but thank you so much until next time take care i love you all very much and i will speak to you all very soon Bye bye. <laughs>
this video right here or this video right here. Don't forget to like and subscribe.